Hi guys, okay, so I'm inside now with Craig and Craig's gonna be giving us a tour today and I cannot wait. Thank you so much uh, for showing us around Craig. So where are we now? Are we, are we at base camp? Yep, we're, we call this our tower base. Okay. And this is where our ticket counter is. This is where we first interact with our guests. Okay. Um, whether they've bought their tickets in advance or they're buying them here. Yeah. And um, you know, obviously a lot have to, you have to come through the Hyatt Hotel at some point in time to get here. So, yeah. um, and this at one point back in the, in the you know, 21, 22 years ago, from the time of the building was built, 43 years ago to that time, this was a separate building. Yeah. Uh, there was some renovations done in 2000 that kind of enclosed everything here. But this is, uh, once you buy your ticket, we go this way and we start your experience uh, with picture. So okay. let's we'll walk through this way yep. and, okay. and show you. you that. Yep, so you we're gonna walk them. down here. Okay, so we've got our tickets, we've done that, we've right. paid. Yep, Come so around. You're, you're gonna come this way. Yeah. And the first stop, that the next touch point that we're gonna find you at, is what we call our pick system down here. Okay. And so we have, you come down here, you scan your ticket, and what we do is we have a green screen there and we have a number of uh, different backdrops. You're gonna, your group, no matter how many people you're with, you're gonna stand here, we're gonna take your picture. Okay. And that's something that, uh, what's really cool and kind of unique to us is we're gonna give you at least a free digital one. Oh, brilliant. Which a lot of people don't do. No. And then you have the option to buy them. And there's some picks, uh, consoles upstairs that you can do that or down here when after that so oh, fantastic so that's good value for money so you get your one picture to take yeah. away with you digital and then i guess you can buy physical ones t-shirts exactly that sort of stuff. yeah exactly oh, good then so you. once you're all done with this then you'd come around this way and we have three elevators here um which are very cleverly a b and c right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> makes sense and <clears throat> and you would come right here all our tower staff are called ambassadors. Okay. So they, one of our ambassadors would meet you here, and then they would direct you to what, uh, whichever elevator you were gonna use. Yeah. Um, of course, your Christmas tree is, looks like looks the ball, like the of, ball the, of the top, yeah. yeah, reminiscent of what we're stood in, so uh, yeah. that's So fantastic. without question, yeah. so that's yeah, yeah. Up obviously this year. And then this is where, guess we're gonna, t as you get on the elevator, we're gonna give you a, uh, give you a little bit, uh, his a quick history of Reunion Tower. Um, tell you a few things about what you're going to see depending on which elevator you're in yeah. and uh, kind of go from there. And these, uh, these elevators you can actually get married in. 68 seconds to the top. Right. Okay. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit more about that when we, when we get up. So can we, I'm too excited. I've got to yep. go up. Can we go up? You sure Please. can. We Thank just you. put that right there. Okay. So very kind of little different elevators. Anyone can always come down. You can always yeah. walk over to one of these touch pads and hit tower base, but to yeah. get up, someone's gonna swipe you up there. Ah, uh, right, okay. So, so we just hit the And do you get people panic when they get up? Has anyone ever gone up and said, I can't? Yeah. Really? Yep. Full on, full, full blown. Yes. The right. people, a lot of people don't, you know, they're afraid of heights. Once they get up there, they're fine. So we just say, just look Calm at the down. door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because better. they see the glass there, and obviously it's concrete there. But when we get in and we get going, you're going to be able to see. Uh, so you've got to coax them in and turn them around. And turn them around. Right. You should yeah. get some black hoods or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that would help. Yeah. But, but the kind of the cool thing, there's nothing to hit inside. So when guests get in there, off they go. And That's it. it. The you're door's in. open and they're there. You're they're in, there. buddy, and off you go. Too late. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Okay. It's an interesting color, isn't it? Yeah. So we, got, we have the blue light there. It's going to take 68 seconds to get up to the top. Wow. And so, yeah. So it's 68 seconds to go up and 68 seconds to come down. So it's all, all the same. So with the glass, you get. Uh, we have three elevators here, so a different view depending on uh, which one you're in, the one you're looking at. Now is the Hyatt Regency. Yeah. One of the biggest hotels in this area. Um, and this is all hotel or office? That's, all, or? that's all hotel. Wow. A lot of rooms can hold over 3,000 people on any given night. Whoa. So, 
and then a little bit kind of looking no straight north from downtown Dallas there all those buildings over there you see on your right are yeah. are new in the last 20 years um, really yeah the basketball arena that you really can't see. You, you, I can see a little corner of the video screen outside of it, but you can't see it anymore. When yeah. they built that arena, there was nothing next to it. That was all just parking lots. Right. Um, wow. So, and where's that expansion come from? Just uh, people moving here. Yeah. Uh, um, and then the, the people who own that and that whole area just really stepping up and making it more of a multi-use multi area. Okay, and more people to come, the more people that want to come, yep. and it becomes a Without, positive cycle. Quite we're gonna go to our geo deck which is yeah. our observation deck. Okay. So it's inside and outside. Okay. Brilliant. And so a lot of, um, a lot of things to see and, and do on this when people visit. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And so the, the tower for my research, the tower featured in, why did the tower feature in Robocop? Do you know it featured in Robocop in 1987? The, yeah. Because no, it was set in Detroit, problem. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And so the, the producers of the movie liked the futuristic buildings of downtown Dallas. Right. That makes sense. So that's why it was part of... Because it's been quite a few sci-fi bits, hasn't right. it? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So it's, uh, it was in the beginning of the show Dallas. Yes. Long running. A long yeah. time ago. I watched it as a little boy. Yep, yeah. A yeah, long yeah. time. Um, there's a new uh, documentary out about a doctor in Dallas who, it's called Dr. Death, and it's featured in the front of that. Oh, wow. Um, which is more of a modern day documentary about a, do a local doctor who was, um, long story. But, right, okay. Uh, so it's really, we see ourselves as kind of the cheerleader of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Yes. Um, You're the logo, you, Right, and it pretty much, you know, when you think about iconic buildings and cities, this one stands out. Uh, for Dallas, and it's you know it's been on the Dallas Mavericks uniform, you know one of theirs. Yes. Uh, there's a t part of Dallas called Deep Ellum, which is kind of an artsy area, a lot right. of murals, and it's, it's featured. In it's featured in yeah. all of them. You see it everywhere. So it's almost subconscious, isn't it? People, yes. That that unique shape means that it stands out. As, right. As a brand in its own right. Yeah, and I think what's unique about it is, and while we're right downtown, we're about a mile from these buildings, the closest ones to us. Right. And so when you look at something. You, you look at a skyline, it's, it's very distinguishable because it is kind of set over there by itself. On its own. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. So that's what uh, uh, definitely makes it uh, definitely different from a lot of them. Okay. So today it's unfortunately a little bit foggy. So we can't, so if it's okay, Greg, we'll come back later in the week yeah, and we'll sure. try and get a shot to show that it's yeah. full, at its full flow. But it's interesting. You still get a very good view, don't you? Even in this weather. Yeah. And I, yeah. And, um, and is that, that's because of the distance, I guess. The distance. It, yeah. And yeah. It, it clears it off a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but definitely you can see a lot of the architecture of Dallas up here and learn a lot about Dallas because this area here in front with these red brick buildings, yeah. where some of them were some of the first bigger buildings in Dallas. Right, you okay. Know, date back well over a hundred years. Yeah, that one, that one, the square yeah. one looks old. The old yeah, courthouse. And, this, and the old courthouse. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then just to the left there, a lot of history. That's the book depository building, JFK. That's the one, is it? And that's, that's the it. museum now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The museum. Okay. There's an X on the road down there that you can kind of see by that light on the right. side of the road. Okay. That's where it happened. So right, a lot okay. of, you know, world history happened yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The world changed forever. Yeah, 58 there. years ago, right? Yeah. Right yeah. there. And then you kind of look out here and you see kind of a little bit of older downtown Dallas, yeah. things that may have been, you know, 40s, 50s, 60s, and then the, the modern skyscrapers. Yeah. And there's more planned, uh, nothing coming online right now, but there's more bigger buildings coming here. Um, what I love in uh, America is how things are more zoned. So it's eclectic, isn't it? Because you've got the sort of old, the old collection here. Mm -hmm. And then that is, is, I think, beautifully contrasted by all the modern stuff here. Right. And then you say, and then you've got the different sections here and all the different zones. And from here, you can just see it all laid out. And I think it's absolutely fantastic. Right. And, you know, downtown Dallas is not, you know, it, it's different than in New York or London, where no matter what time of day you're out there, there's yeah. people walking around. Yes. Even pre-COVID, it was like that. A lot of people down here working, they kind of come down and work. Um, but there are tons of things to see. And the growth of it, like in this yeah. area, yeah. if we were standing here 20 years ago, like I said, those buildings wouldn't have been there. Yeah. And there, there wouldn't have been barely anything this over just, here. This is just dirt. Right. Yeah. And it's the same over on this side to a certain extent as well. So wow. the growth of the city and kind of getting it more vibrant yeah. and having things to do down here yeah. has definitely grown over the, in the past. So that's, really, that's actually, you raise a really interesting point because then, so you would think then through osmosis in 20 years time, this will actually be in the center perhaps of Dallas because you're going to be surrounded eventually, aren't you? Like it's these a, guys are going to carry on going this way, these guys it, are going to Yeah, it's a great point. Actually, this, you know, if, um, for everyone, it, 
Dallas-Fort Worth, we call it the Metroplex. Okay. It's about 60 miles wide and maybe 40, 50 miles top to bottom. Yeah. And the center of it is about 20 miles north of here. Right. Okay. And the growth of the <laughs> entire area is really to the north. Right, okay. Um, I'm laughing because I have no concept, as big, being from the UK, I have no concept of the size of things and scale in America. Right. When I look at this, I see this as the city. That's it. Right. This is it. But you're like, no, no, no. It goes 60 miles this it, way. It go, yeah. Uh, yeah. Without question. And that's where... <laughs> and it's 20 miles wide. And there's so many different things. You know, when you think about, you know, Arlington, which is really in the middle between Dallas and Fort Worth, that's where yeah. the Cowboys built their stadium. That's where the baseball team plays. Huge, huge amusement park. You know, it's oh, a whole right. separate area. And then you get over to Fort Worth, which is exactly 30 miles from downtown Dallas. Yeah. And that's a whole other thing on its own. And, and yeah. Fort Worth really, Fort Worth is one of the biggest cities in America, even. It's about in the 20s. Right. I mean, well over a million people live in Fort Worth. Wow. And so, you know, you have two huge cities that are all kind of interconnected with things. And you know what? That just, that just goes to show the size of the competition, if you like, for attention. Mm -hmm. And yet you guys still stand out as right. like the logo and right. that just because to stand out in a village is one thing to stand out in london is another thing right. but to stand out here it's near impossible right because there's so much there's there's so much to do and and you know, see and yeah you know even the some of the suburbs up north have grown so much uh in the past 20 years too that you can kind of live your life up there and never come down here if yeah if you don't want to yeah which is very different than you know like a new york or yeah. Chicago, we, like if that. you want X, Y, Z, you've got to go into that part of town right. to get it. Whereas, right. yeah, everywhere is self-contained. You, yeah, exactly. Amazing. So is it 360? It's 360. We can take a walk around. I'll show yeah, you. Please. These are uh, some of our, we call these our halos. Okay. Touch and if you touch one, a lot of different things. You can zoom in, see what you're seeing, different landmarks. We're known for our light shows. So I hit the light shows there. Um, different ones depending on of course because i've seen this illuminated at night yeah it looks so these circles that you see right here are yeah. the lights there's 259 of them okay um they get programmed uh for these light shows and that's where we use that kind of cheerleader of dallas yeah so we put them up when the cowboys win or the mavericks win or the hockey team the stars win or the rangers amazing and so like you pick saint patrick's day there's you a got, shamrock it's gotta shamrock. be yeah, gotta yeah. be that shamrock yeah. on there oh wow so you could even have words yeah they can move and we can oh, put words wow. on there um, wow, 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 that's cool. So definitely that. We're known also for our New Year's Eve celebration. Yeah, of course. We'll have a huge fireworks uh, and light show together. This year we're bringing in one of those drone shows. Oh, they're amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah 225 yeah. drones. We're going to fly that. So that'll be wow. Be something. Uh, and it's going to incorporate the, the tower, obviously, and fly around it. And... Uh, they won't fly around. They'll kind of fly in a linear thing to go along with the fireworks and okay. the light show. Wow. Oh, so you're having the both, the light yeah, show? All three. Wow, wow, yeah, all Wow, 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 mm wow. -hmm. God. So we have these. You like to do things big that you're in Texas. Well, and that's yeah, Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Texas. Yeah. <laughs> and then so. So the Dallas Mavs. Is this, so this is when they win? When they win. Mm -hmm. Wow. So we put that up and put the Mavs. And Amazing. How oh, fantastic. What a great yeah. advertising opportunity. Yeah. And that's, why, and that's why we're, you know, during COVID, we were kind of seen as someone who were kind of taking care of the city and bringing encouragement yeah. to people. Yeah, yeah. And, like hope. Yeah. yeah. And we opened up. You know, we closed in March like everybody else last year, and then we yeah. were back open by June. Really? You know, right, with okay. a lot of different... So as soon know. as you could be with mm -hmm. that. Yeah, mm -hmm. fantastic. That's fantastic. So we have these up here for everybody to enjoy. This carpet yeah. is actually a map, a road map of, of the city course. of Dallas. Yeah, yeah, of course. To a certain extent. So yeah. you see these freeways, this freeway here, Yeah. that's that one right there. Oh, Over that's here? Yeah. 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 And so it kind of tell, so, gives you an idea where, so where are we? Be. We would uh, we would be kind of about right here, uh, about right here. Yeah, yeah. Give or take a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We need that marked on there, though. No? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> need some spray paint or something. Exactly. We should put yeah. an X on. Do you want? You should have a little a little um, a tower thing. Little yeah. tower thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Makes sense, wouldn't it? Yep. Yeah. So specially made carpet so everyone can kind of see where they're Amazing. you know if you're from here what you're looking at or what you're not looking at. Yeah. One of the things we do is we'll walk around here. You see this window cling up here that says "Love is in the air." Yeah. We average about two proposals a day up here. We have, really? a, we have a thing called Love is in the Air package that people come up and just celebrate a date night or an yeah. anniversary, yeah. Um, something like Pregnancy that. But then or whatever, yeah. people can come up and, and do their own proposals. I'll show you over here. We have a lawn over here where the old basketball arena used to be. Someone had a helicopter bring his 
then fiance in last week and they came up and he wow. proposed to her. So, wow, um, the big shot. So, so what's the package involved? What, what happens? Package is, um, involves a uh, couple get, uh, they come up here, they get a private elevator ride. Yeah. They get, uh, depending on what they want to purchase, what level, they get uh, yeah. some champagne, uh, maybe a little bit of charcuterie or a little bit of chocolate. Yeah. They get their own area over here. Yeah. They get a number of pictures and then, yeah. you know, just a cool, something to tell someone at the end of, of the day, along with some other. Uh, do the lights go pink or anything? Or? No. No? No. Because you, you, you know, the one thing we'd love she the lights. She said yes. We'd love to do that. Yeah. But then that's all we'd do. So we kind of, we, we got to draw the line of on, on some things. Yeah. Actually, you've got to taper the, the advertising. Yeah. Otherwise, everyone, every time they can hire be here. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. So, we up the price, but we can put them on these, we can put them on these screens so that we call our constellations. Yeah, so. yeah, you can see that. Yep. What a great idea. Yeah, so That's we do that, thing. and then we just have the Dallas over there. So as we walk around, we have a number of uh, interactive games. These are um, for pictures that people can get. Um, just a fun game to play, just using the geogra uh, geodesic shapes yes. uh, of the building. We do a lot of field trips up here for kids. Of course, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, and especially ones that are in like math and science to look at these angles yes. of the outside and then yeah. look at buildings or... And structurally, how things, yeah, yeah, yeah. and and use their math to, to do that. So we do uh, we do a lot of that, and we actually came up, kind of came up with our own uh, curriculum to do that. We can oh, just wow. like put in front of kids, depending on how old they are. Oh, brilliant! So the teacher can just have a chill in the coffee shop. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so let's just keep walking out of there. Yeah, please, we'll, we'll you, lead, you lead the way, Craig. So this is uh, this is an older this is a model that was made. Um, Oh yeah. This whole com this whole uh, campus uh, last major remodel was done uh, in 2000. Okay. And before that, in like as you walked down here today, um, we were you were all inside. When the tower was originally built, the white is all what is new that they put in in 2000. Right. So uh, while it was the same, you would have had to walk outside from the hotel to actually get to that tower base, and they expanded okay. their uh, so that's a much better design. convention. Yeah. Because this was a freestanding structure when it was first built, wasn't it? Yeah. It was completely... Yeah, yeah there wasn't that kind of enclosed. There was yeah. a little bit enclosure, but like I said, you'd have to come outside. So this is just kind of a fun model from yeah, 21, 22 years ago. It's what nice. They, and it's nice uh, that it shows the different colors. Mm -hmm. is good. And it was a radio station, is that correct? No. It no? Was, uh, actually, we're owned by... Uh, no, it was when it was originally built. Sorry. It was a, there was a radio station here at one point. There was at yeah. one point, yeah. yeah. But it was yeah. just built to be kind of... Uh, like what it is, a statement yeah. for the, the state why of not? the city. Exactly. And what a fantastic job it's done, actually. It's paid mm -hmm. dividends. Oh, yeah. I over mean, over it's 78, it's when yeah. it opened, so, you know, just over 40 years. And that's, yeah. you know, for the family, the Hunt family that owns it, it's a, it's a source of pride. Of them. course, yeah. So it's their crown jewel, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe we can, maybe I can get Big Boss to allow me to build one in Preston. So just, you know, a few more interactive penny pressed yeah. things, pictures, obviously that we do and then this little walkway still has the map of the, on the carpet yeah um, what you see out there that grassy area yeah that is where um, up until the, uh, 2001 that's where the Dallas Mavericks and Dallas Stars played there was an arena there right so they obviously when the new one opened they tore it down yeah filled it in yeah and so parts of it are still underneath there and so what's the plan? Is there a... Is there a the, the, new one, the new one's over here. No, no, no I mean for this. Uh, we you, just use it. Uh, they'll probably it's be, yours, isn't it? <coughs> yeah. It's ours, so we do a lot of events. You, you know, you think about those big walks. Yes. Uh, things like that. Yeah. It's a perfect place for that because you got all the parking Charity over. Charity stuff, fundraising stuff, all, yeah. that, all mm -hmm. that good stuff. So yeah. we use it for that. So Fantastic. A lot of that, and you can see some of the growth that way. None of that was there 20 years ago either. So. And this is what I was kind of referring to earlier. I mean, if these guys build up enough, Mm -hmm. You're kind of, kind of not the center of Dallas, but you're going to be the center of the, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's going to be developed around you. Yeah, without it? question. Yeah. And we're at the intersection here of three, uh, two major interstates. Yeah. And four major freeways in this area. And the railway. Yeah. And so. Because you guys love a train. I've seen a lot of We have of a lot of big here. trains. Yeah. We don't have a, you know, we don't, have, and Dallas doesn't really have any, there's no underground transport like the tube. There is right. not. Okay. There is a light rail system and people yeah, like do a, like use a it. Yeah, monorail kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's not, uh, you know, it's by no means like the tube to get around. It's, it's not bad, but people, it's not, not kind so of your first thought right. uh, okay. to use. So. Okay. And um, I guess Uber and stuff has made that even yeah. more so. Yeah. So, but the freeway system's pretty good. I mean, there's obviously some. Traffic. Oh yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So we come out here. 
you know how many how many square feet is the total space at the top? Do you we know? can f we can fit about two hundred people on this level. Oh yeah, and do people hire the whole thing for events and stuff? Oh yeah, they can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because yep. it's an impressive venue, isn't it? Yep. It doesn't get much. Better so we this. have three levels. The top one's a restaurant. Yeah. Middle one's kind of an, uh, is an event space okay. with a rotating floor. The restaurant's got a rotating floor. Oh, fantastic! And then so this has the inside outside. That's what's a little different. So. Um, okay. Just another look at uh, that would be where Fort Worth is that way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hopefully we can get that. Yeah. We have weddings up here too. Go along with those. You can get married. You can get married in that elevator ride. We have someone who will do it in 68 seconds. So wow. So you go in at the ground floor single and you come out at the top. Exactly. And married. Yep. How fantastic. And how many do people do that? Yeah, quite a, oh yeah. So um, it's not just like a novelty. People actually do it. Or? They do it. Um, you know, sometimes people just want to come up here and you know, kind of have the view for their wedding. And yeah. You know, a small wedding. And they yeah, do yeah, it. yeah. And so, um, I would have done that to be honest, because I wouldn't. I'd want. Wouldn't want to risk Laura changing her mind. And in sixty eight seconds. <laughs> sixty eight seconds. She didn't have a chance. She, big boss has not got. <laughs> no, yeah. She's got no time to change her mind and realize what she's doing. Right. Yeah. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Do you, it, you must love working here. Yeah? You know what I say? What's kind of, I think what's really cool about it is the view never changes yeah. to a certain extent. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. The buildings don't change. There's no real building going on right now, another Not skyscraper. Yeah, yeah. But the view changes constantly because of the traffic and the weather the and seasons. things like that. Yeah. So, time of day, seasons. Exactly. Yeah, and, yeah. and obviously, sunset, which would be right here, is a uh, very popular time for us. Of course. And that's what. Uh, uh, a lot of people that's when they want to be up here and if normal if just sort of everyday public want to come and visit are you just open you can just walk in pay a pay a yep. doll or whatever and come up yep it's 18 dollars okay um, and just come on up and yeah our hours kind of fluctuate depending on what time of year it is of course we obviously close a little earlier when it, you know this time of year when it's darker and yeah. then in the summer we stay open until 10 10 30. okay um and you can do that on the website i guess you can check the hours go to place. yep reuniontower.com and okay. do that or simply just show up we are still doing uh <coughs> excuse me a time ticketing thing course, just kind yeah, of covid like but if you purchase your ticket for let's say three o'clock and you're a little early a little late it's not that big a deal okay fine i'll put a link guys to the website in the description below so you'll be able to click that and have a look for yourselves it's brilliant isn't it so are we able to see this from the other floors is that is that possible yeah, yeah we can go up there yeah, the rest okay? the restaurant's closed we can go okay. up there i can't take it to that event space they have a me there's a meeting going on there right, right okay. now yeah we don't want to bust into the meeting no. uh, do you want to go outside here yeah yeah let's do that okay so i know the okay. door's locked let me just grab a thing to okay and Th those um, are bloody soundproof aren't they and yeah. i guess they're a bit tinted yeah. so when you come out here yeah it's a, it's a completely different experience and then we have a number of these telescopes they're free so you can use those and oh, check brilliant. out what you want to see oh that's cool but that kind of goes along with, uh, <laughs> as I mentioned, that ever-changing, the ever-changing view. Yeah, it's an evolution, of, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, um, and this is the old courthouse you said, this yeah. interesting building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what, what's that now? Uh, it's a museum, and the county still does. Dallas County still has some records in there. And in terms of, I guess, because you're such an icon, security is a concern, no? Um, yeah, um, we work real closely with local officials on things. Yeah. And, um, it's sad, but it's something it's you have sad. to pay attention. Uh, knock on wood, we, we've been, you know, we haven't yeah. had any Good. issues. And Glad so, to hear it. yeah, Glad so to hear I it. think that's, uh, I think our people do a nice job and yeah. keep us keep you safe. Keep it safe and Absolutely. safe for everybody to be up here. You could stand out here all day, isn't it? It's quite easy just to just watch, you know. I, I, that's what, that's just what I like. I like watching the traffic. Yeah. You know, whether it's moving right now or it's, you know, it's rush hour and there's backup. And you can kind of go, oh, I can see where that backup is because that guy is not going fast enough. Or, <laughs> you can actually yeah, plug it out. Yeah. yeah. You should ring the local radio. <laughs> so, say, yeah. tell, tell that blue car to move over. Move over. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Because you look out and it's, it's a macro view of the world, but you can look at people and say, you know, there's a car there and a person in it and they've got hopes and dreams and a job and a family who love exactly. them. And, but there's so many different things going on. It's, oh, right. it's human life. Exactly. It's amazing. And then it's just, you know, it's absolutely you know, amazing. you look at these buildings over here and they're pretty similar. Yeah. And these apartment buildings and all the office windows building, and they're, they're somewhat similar. And then you look at that museum over there. Yeah. The white kind of limestone -ish building. Yeah. You yeah. Know, just how they've, different that is. We saw that coming in. They've got yeah. a, a T-Rex at yeah. the top of the stairs. Yep. Amazing. And, um, and that's what's cool. You know, what goes into someone's thought process when they're going to design a building, you know, to kind of keep it like others or to do something different like that. Yeah. That's and what's up. Every uh, one of these has been a, a man or woman's imagination until it was built out. Exactly. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. It begun, every one of these began as a thought mm -hmm. and the power of thought. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, wow. We've gone quite deep. Yeah. <laughs>
that's what makes it fun, you know. And, you, and is this industrial? This area here, because it's all quite low rise. Yeah, a lot of where a lot of where a lot of warehouses, yeah. Uh, yeah. businesses, those okay. kind of. Uh, yeah. But again, that was weren't really there 20 years ago, no. uh, to a no. certain extent. Uh, that it was just kind of an empty area, kind of like you see here. Yeah, in just front kind of, of that. scrublands. And of. then you look over here on the other. This uh, bridge is somewhat new. In yeah. an area over there, th there was nothing over there wow. 20 years ago. It's and a really I, good link, isn't it? Yeah. So you want to own land over there yep. to 10 years ago, mm -hmm. that would be okay. Because yeah. this area was uh, back when somebody founded Dallas or settled in Dallas. That's a Trinity River right there. Yes. It's obviously much bigger back in the day. Um, and this is uh, Swiss, German, Belgians yeah. settled here. And this yeah, area is yeah. called Reunion because this was kind of the law reunion part of that. So wow, that's what they called this area. And that ties in nicely with what you guys are doing today, which is bringing people together, you know, exactly. and, and yeah, wow. How nice how it all ties together with the history. Yeah. I actually rode a horse down uh, alongside the river yesterday. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a good spot. Yeah, it is. Spot. it is, it's great. Gosh, should we go back in? Yeah, yeah, it's not the warmest thing. So this is, this is our restaurant level. It's got a rotating floor, <laughs> uh, revolving floor. Yeah. Uh, like I mentioned, this is going to be uh, this closed, like a, unfortunately, like a lot of other restaurants in of course, March yeah. of last year. Yeah. But it's going to reopen uh, sometime later in 2022. Brilliant. And uh, probably in the second or third quarter. Have you guys got an operator for it yet? Or, yeah. Yeah. Can you do. talk about it or no? I can't. No. <laughs> that's, that's fine. That's fine. No, yeah. No, that's fine. So it'll be. Yeah, I can say it's gonna probably be something that's more Americana food, you know, something for everybody. Yeah, Not family. Especially fam get more families up here and things like that. Yeah. Uh, but definitely, it'll have a completely different look. I um, think that's nicer because it fits in with the the rest of the concept, doesn't it? In it, it yeah, it, exactly. You're you're, you're you're not you're not exclusive, and I mean that in the in the in the best way possible. In the sense that the feeling I get when I come here is that it's. It's welcome to all. To like everybody. And that in this restaurant needs to be something it like needs to that. Tie in it, with that. Yeah. And it doesn't have to, it, you know, it might be a little more toward the higher end of that. Yeah. But that's what it needs but to that, be. Yeah. And it'll be 100%. a perfect fit uh, for what we have. So this, this area, this level could be used for full gatherings. It yeah. has been many times. The revolving floor takes 48 minutes for it to go around. Does it? Time. Yep. Oh, so it's not spinning its speed. <laughs> no, it, yeah, it yeah. doesn't go that fast. It doesn't so, get <laughs> um, so 48 minutes. Actually, you know, you can as it goes around. You think oh, that, that's not too long. It's actually really perfect. Is it because it's just quick enough, but <coughs> it's slow enough. You get to see everything. Yeah, and I bet some people get like a little bit involved in conversation, and then they look yeah, the and they and stop like, looking, or they get on the other side where the, on the yeah. other side from downtown, and they're like, oh, oh, yeah. we're back at the, the downtown area. Yeah, yeah they, they come out are. the toilet and they can't find yeah. their wife. <laughs> yeah, there is plenty of people who come out and they can't find you were where they were. Yeah. But you can always say they go that way because the floor spins that way. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Fine. So, again, it's a different aspect, isn't it? It's slightly different. We haven't got the mesh because you, you don't have the outside. So you're yeah, right yeah. here. You can see more of the. Uh, See more the, of the, the, the shapes the skeleton. and the geometry, yeah, yeah. Yeah. which, um, and what's kind of interesting is when you're up here, in here you can't see those lights. You don't know what's on the lights. Ah, oh, of course. There's nothing, sure the there's nothing kind of, real, and these buildings are too far away for a true reflection. I'm not saying you probably couldn't, but no. for the most, you know, yeah. that's what's kind of weird. You don't know what's on those lights you could, yeah, when, yeah. You're, when you're inside. Yeah, yeah. It could say stupid with two arrows <laughs> pointing to you, sat in the window. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't know. Brilliant. Oh, I'm so excited for this to reopen again and for people to be able to, you know, to fit with that atmosphere. Yeah, you, you know, know, we're getting a lot of, you know, we're known for that New Year's Eve fireworks show that we talked about, and yeah. we're known for this restaurant. And, and people, we get daily inquiries. You know, I want, you know, when's the restaurant opening? When's the restaurant the opening? Restaurant. So people yeah. are, you know, when that comes online, they're going to be booked yeah. solid for a long time. You guys are going to get just kind of yeah. And it was a, uh, in the past, you know, it was about a three month waiting period to get a reservation. Really? On some nights, yeah. Wow. Wow, that's fantastic. It doesn't surprise me, actually, because it's such a unique dining experience. Yeah, and I think people really, you know, there are a ton of great restaurants in the Dallas area. Of course. But this is unique, and people, when they want to come celebrate something special, they kind of think of us to yes, come up and do that. Yes, of course. I know tourists want to be here as well, so you think mm -hmm. you've got that market. and Right. Yeah, it makes sense. And as that opens back up more, I mean, that just happened, you know, with more flights coming over and stuff. And yeah. That, you know, it's, in, it's definitely something that's on a lot of people's bucket lists in the they know about it because they've seen a picture of Dallas if they're coming here. Yeah, yeah. Or oh, they've watched it on TV. Or, right, yeah. exactly. In Robocop, which is set in Detroit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. 
Okay, so should we go back down then, Craig? Thank you. Yeah, I know we'll you're a very we'll, busy we'll, man. We'll, yeah, we'll do that front man. part. So, so this is this is our uh, one elevator that has the best view of the city. Of, okay, uh, of downtown. So, I mean, again, just gives you a different perspective on how far it reaches out. Yeah, yeah. Um, kind of on the far side of that is the state fairgrounds, ninety thousand seat football stadiums over there. <laughs> um, it doesn't have very many games now, but it's, it's an icon, no, iconic yeah. stadium. So, it doesn't feel like fifty six years ago. It feels quicker going down. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same. No. Yeah, you timed it. Okay. Yeah, we trust you. Okay, so thank you so much for your time, Craig. It's been an absolutely, you know, I knew it was going to be good and I'd be excited. I think you can tell from my face, I've had an absolutely fantastic time and I highly recommend, guys, if you're anywhere, anywhere near the tower, at the Reunion Tower in downtown Dallas, I highly recommend you come and see it. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Well, we appreciate you being here. We look forward, we, you know, we love our visitors uh, yeah. from the UK and international visitors and we hope more getting out and traveling and when they're in Dallas, they make this a stop. Without Th that's going to happen for, for definitely now as we come out of lockdown and COVID and things, tourists will start coming back and I'm sure you'll be seeing more and more limeys. Exactly. Well, that's <laughs> what we like to see. Max, thank you. Thank we you. Appreciate it. Cheers.